What's up everyone? Welcome back to another model home tour. Today's video, we are in the beautiful Bartram Ranch community here in St. Johns County, and we'll be touring the Mayport floor plan by Toll Brothers. This floor plan is a five bedroom, four and a half bath floor plan, has a three car garage, and it's roughly 3461 square feet, and price-wise, starts anywhere in the low 700s from 721 to $727,000. Also, my name's Justin, I'm with the Real Keeper Home Team, and you're on our channel, Everything Jacks Real Estate. Make sure you like this one, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you get notified when we post more content like this in the future. And also, make sure that you see in this video the beautiful backyard oasis, as well as the amazing master bedroom closet. And if you've seen videos like this in the past from us, you'll know that you'll want to wait and stay till the end because we will be going over some different builder incentives Toll Brothers is offering currently here in Bartram Ranch. All right, now let's go and check out the Mayport floor plan. All right, let's go and ch check out the Mayport floor plan. So first thing you're gonna notice as we come in, you're gonna see they, and they made this because of the model, but they did a really nice big front porch. Ultimately, they may actually get rid of part of this when they sell the home, and they may only keep up to where the beams are, or posts are. But ultimately, it's a beautiful you know, tiled front porch, a little bit more high end than what you normally would see with front porches here, and very usable, which is a big element that I like. So as we come in, they have a single door, probably have an option for a double door, but it's very open when you come in. They did a lot of shiplap uh, for the walls. Definitely no complaining there for me personally. I love shiplap, but let me know in the comment section, do you like shiplap or would you prefer to have, uh, you know, just more of your standard wall pattern? Or if it was shiplap, would you prefer to have maybe like a darker color, so to speak? So first thing we're gonna check out is we're gonna check out the first bedroom downstairs, which is almost kind of like a mini master bedroom. So this bedroom actually is a one bedroom with a, a full bathroom off of the bedroom which they also have the ability with this bathroom to actually have it open up into the bedroom as well. So you have a nice size shower in here. They did the seamless glass, which is also a nice touch. They did the tile up to the ceiling, uh, more of like a, not to say a subway tile, but it actually is a subway tile. Uh, just a very simple, clean design up to the ceiling. Single, single vanity as well, and it leads you into your mini master bedroom. So this mini master bedroom, as you'll see here, is ultimately, it's a very good size for guests, for family, friends, staying over. The high ceilings makes the room feel even bigger. So all in all, it's a very great space for someone to stay in when they're visiting. And it includes a good size closet which they actually, with the closet, didn't do bifolds. They actually did nice, almost like a barn door style look where it goes back and forth. And again, eight foot doors and solid wood, which is a great touch. So next up, we are going to come into our laundry room. So laundry room is gonna be off of the two car garage. So it's gonna be your two car garage here. Obviously it's their current office being the model. You have a little drop zone for shoes, be able to take them off for you in the house. Nice little wood insert here, nothing to complain about. And it leads you to your laundry room, which with the laundry room, you have your washer dryer. You also have your sink, which is probably an upgrade, but always great to do with the builder. So the plumbing's already there. They also did a lot of nice cabinetry in here. So all in all, great size laundry room for you to be able to you know, wash your clothes, dry your clothes in. So next up, we're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna check out the dining space. So the dining space is one of those spaces where sometimes you may think, is it truly needed nowadays? What's the thought process there? Some people love having them. Some people uh, don't feel like they're not as needed anymore. Almost like a waste space, but definitely the way they have it designed, they have a nice big square table here. Obviously, it's a eight seater table, which is a really good size for entertaining with guests. They did the wood inlay uh, up top in the ceiling with a couple beams. Kind of a little bit of opposite effect there. You know, the beams don't have that wood look to them. They have them painted white, but the inlay kind of gives it a nice offset as well to where it highlights those white uh, beams. 
And ultimately, as we continue to move forward through here from the dining room, you have what can be a little dry bar. Uh, you could use it for a little coffee bar. They obviously have the built-in wine cooler. And again, beautiful colors. They went with more of a masculine probably tones with these. So you have your darker brown cabinets with your black countertops, uh, with your granite black countertops. And it leads you into your, into your kitchen. Now they did a waterfall effect with this kitchen. My opinion, it looks very sleek. It's a little bit of a transition from what we're used to seeing if you've seen some of our previous videos. Most of the time, we're gonna see light and bright. We're gonna see white cabinets. We're gonna see lighter colored countertops. We may even see white cabinets and white countertops. But what Toll Brothers did on this one, which I actually really like, is they went with more of a darker uh, material across the board. So you have your black waterfall granite, runs down to the floor. You have your darker wood cabinets with soft cools, soft clothes for the drawers. They even did the black hardware to go with the black countertops so it all blends together. A couple other things I love about this kitchen, it does have a six burner gas stove. Uh, Bartram Ranch is a gas community so that is something you're going to get across the board. But this is obviously an upgrade with the six burner. And another upgrade you see here is they actually did a pot filler as well. Great to be able to just get hot water at the stove, not having to bring your uh, bring your pot back and forth with that water in it. And so ultimately it's a great touch, obviously it's an upgrade, but that is one of those things that if you want to do, always would suggest you do with the builder because it can be a little more expensive after the fact. A couple of nice touches too, they did the glass inserts for some of these upper cabinets, made it more of a focal point, made it more of a centerpiece where people come in, you know, that's, what, that's the first thing they're gonna see along with your beautiful stove. Uh, nice big deep sink. Ultimately, you could almost fit, you know, really all the dishes that you would need in your dishwasher, you can almost fit them all in here. So as you, so great to know is that if you fill this up, it means that you're ready to put it all in the dishwasher because then that'll be filled too. So then as we continue to move forward, we do have our stove microwave combo or oven microwave combo. And it leads us to, again, uh, they have it for their coffee, but additional, you know, butler style pantry with additional cabinetry. Uh, leads you to your one car garage, again, soft clothes throughout. And then you also have your rest of your pantry for all of your perishables, all of your food, stuff like that. So really good size space uh, or out the kitchen. Another thing too with this kitchen that I really love is it's very open to the rest of the house. And with these high ceilings, you do have the those white wood beams throughout. But with these higher uh, ceilings, these 10 foot ceilings, it really just makes the space feel open, makes it makes the space feel very inviting. And ultimately, it's a great design they did with this. Gives you plenty of space to be able to have your uh, dining room table if you want it in here as well. If you would rather make that front room more of an office and close it off, kind of gives you those options. And then you also obviously have your living room as well here with some very nice finishes as well. So next up, we're gonna head on to the master. And with the master here, what I really like about it is it does come off of the living room. So you're on the first floor, you're not dealing with stairs. When you come in, you really feel like you've gotten away from everything. You know, you really feel like this is truly a retreat for you to be able to relax in after a long day of work, to be able to just get away and take it easy. And they obviously did the wood beams in here as well. They painted white. They did do a offsetting color for the ceiling to kind of accentuate those beams. But honestly, you can hopefully on video, you can see like this is just a huge space here uh, for the master bedroom. You know, obviously this is a king size bed. Even with the king size bed, it almost feels small in the space of how large of a room this is. It does overlook your backyard, which with this model, with having the pool back or having the uh, lake back there, it's a great feature. Uh, very relaxing, very calm. And obviously, it's going to take us into our master bathroom. So the master bathroom here, again, really nice large space. You have your separate vanities. They continue the same cabinets and the same hardware as the kitchen, but they actually went with a lighter colored countertop. Again, looks to be a uh, granite, could be a quartz, uh, but it doesn't appear to be a granite. You have your big soaker tub in the middle. Uh, very nice to be able, again, just be able to relax in. Again, a lot of darker colors so they did on the wall here. 
they did this nice dark black tile and they continued it into this large shower. So this shower doesn't have just one rain head, has two rain heads, and also has obviously the individual heads as well on each side. And again, darker color with some of the choices. They did the subway tile, but they did it as more of a vertical pattern rather than horizontal on the sidewalls. And it is inlaid a little bit further down, so it keeps from water coming up and getting into the majority of the rest of the bathroom. So very, very good size uh, master bathroom uh, shower, to say the least. And obviously, as I mentioned in the opening of this video, now we're gonna check out this beautiful master closet. It did a lot of custom, custom cabinetry in here. And overall, I love the fact that it's almost like a two-tone, so you have some lighter colored wood and some dark colored wood. And again, it's all just nice, soft clothes. They have a couple open glass cabinets up top to be able to highlight what you want to highlight for yourself, maybe for guests to show it off. I mean, we all like to show off you know, what we have uh, at times for the right people, but really great size space here. Just very beautiful design uh, choice by Toll Brothers on this closet. So now we're going to head out of this master ba uh, bathroom and we're going to check out the second floor of the house. So the second floor of the house, we're gonna have our other three bedrooms and our other two bathrooms. And with the second floor of this house, they did a very nice wood tread for the stairwell. And what I like about the stairwell, you know, they left it open with the, with the uh, black hardware here. So it's, you know, doesn't kind of block off the view of the downstairs. Uh, but ultimately, it, what I do like is they create a landing here, so you almost have like a, a Z sort of pattern here to where you're going back and forth, and it's not just a straight shot up. So again, all open here with the metal, wood throughout. They continued the same floors down here, or up here, that are downstairs. Which again, these wood floors, they are not cheap, definitely are gonna be an upgrade, but well worth it, because it really highlights everything about the house. You do have your open to the downstairs here. Makes that entrance when you first come in feel super big, super wide, super open. Again, you have a little bit of a loft up here. Continue a little bit of those darker tones with some of the, with some of the tile choice they did on this accent wall. You do still have your shiplap as well throughout here. And it brings you to your third bedroom. And this third bedroom does not have its own bathroom. But it's a good size space. Again, you know, you have the taller ceilings in here. You do have a walk-in closet in here. I mean, obviously I can hide from the camera if I wanted to, but it's a very good size closet. And overall, the finishes that they chose throughout this home are definitely top notch, which is a representation of Bartram Ranch as a whole. You do have your third bathroom up here as well. So this third bathroom has a single vanity tile up to the ceiling. You have your shower tub combo. Uh, this is your first tub in the house as far as for the guest bathrooms, which is great if you have kids or if you have dogs and you need to wash your dogs in the bathtub and you don't want to bring them in your bedroom. So definitely nice there. Interesting tile choice they did here. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this tile? Personally, it's different. I actually don't mind it. It almost kind of gives off of like a, like a snowflake kind of pattern, but very, different from what we're used to seeing here. So next up, we're gonna check out our last two bedrooms with the Jack and Jill bathroom between. So these bedrooms, again, really good size space. I mean, that's one thing you, you'll notice about this video is all these bedrooms are very well proportioned. Part of it's the higher ceilings that they use, but ultimately, again, this is a, probably a full, maybe a queen, but you could easily, as you can maybe tell, put a much larger bed here if you needed to. Just like with the last bedroom, you also have a walk-in closet here. I can hide if I want to, to show the depth. But overall, it's a very good sized space. Uh, so plenty of space for you know kids' clothes, uh, additional even storage space for furniture. You know, cannot go, you can never go wrong with having too much space in the house. And it brings us into our Jack and Jill bathroom, which again, they continue the same color cabinets, uh, same color hardware. They did just do a nice white clean 
uh, quartz countertop for the vanity. Brings you into your Jack and Jill shower. Again, you have your shower tub combo. They continue that theme of the darker tile. And let me know in the comment section, what is your opinion on these darker color choices? Obviously, it's one of the first ones we've seen that had some of these darker color choices. But I'd love to know your thoughts on if it's something that you like or if you like the more white uh, grays that we've been used to seeing the last couple of years. Again, really good size bedroom, really good size space overall. And just for good measure, we have our third walk-in closet, which again, can hide if I want to, just to show just how much room there is in these closets. So that's gonna be our second floor of Mayport. So as we head down the stairs, we are gonna check out the nicely appointed half bath for guests. Another reason why you don't necessarily need to have that full bath for the little mini master open to guests. And we're also gonna check out the outside and the outdoor aces that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. So you do have a nice size half bath down here. Obviously there's no door right now because it is a model. They don't need to have doors throughout the house. They'll have those when they go to sell it. But again, really good size space. Overall, nice to have that for guests. And ultimately, now we're gonna head out to this outdoor area where there's a lot of different things you can do with it. So one thing you'll notice right away, you have a good section of, of the home under roof out here. So this is a great fact that they did is that they continued the roof line for over here and ultimately kind of keeps looking more like the rest of the house. And it's a great, nice size, huge space that you could even still add a screen down the road if you wanted to, but it does open you up to your summer kitchen, you know, outdoor races out here. It's really just a nice water feature focal point. Uh, I can tell you that you know, no one else is gonna have something like this in their house. Uh, but again, just for on you know, nice summer days, spring days, fall days, it's a really good size space and really nice to be able to entertain guests and obviously cook out here as well because they do have their, you do have your mini fridge, you have your grill, you have a plenty of storage, you even have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a sink for ice, you know, a little cooler area for drinks. So all in all, cannot go wrong there. This is gonna bring us over to a little sitting area. Remember, this is gonna be right behind the master bedroom. It is nice to just be able to hang out here, be able to just enjoy the day. Today is such a beautiful day out here in Jacksonville, in St. John's County. Uh, they do have some outdoor furniture here. Just a nice little sitting area. And they did do turf throughout this whole backyard which the turf is something that it is a more of a cost, but it's zero escape and zero maintenance, which allows you to enjoy your backyard even more. No more yard work back here for you, especially if you don't really want to do yard work anyways. They did do almost like a pergola back here as well uh, with metal, not wood, just to kind of give it more of a aesthetic look to it. Not sure my opinion on it, but I do like it. It's just a little different than I'm used to seeing. And then on the other side of the, of the house, we have, again, more turf. And we also have our little putting green, putting green. So not many times do we find these little putting greens with these model homes, really with any homes in general, but it is a nice little touch. Again, if you're a golfer, there's a lot of different golf courses here in St. John's County. But if you want to, you know, work on, you know, work on your putting, nice to have this little putting uh, range out here, putting green. Not sure something that the builder would do if you are looking to have something like this and you want to build with Toll Brothers, but you never know. And if it's something that you are interested in, please reach out to me because I can always check to see if that's something they will do uh, on any new construction. They do have the outdoor fire pit out here. This is going to be a gas fire pit. So with the TV built in, it's kind of nice how they did this with the tile just to kind of enclose the TV. Uh, but again, you know, whether if you want to watch March Madness, if you want to watch college playoffs, uh, NFL playoffs, uh, you know, just have friends over, watch them, you know, watch them baseball. It's nice to have this because with the way Jackson, with the way St. St. John's County is, we have so many nice days of the year to be able to enjoy our exterior of our homes. The house like this is great to be able to do just that. 
So yeah, so that is this backyard oasis, which kind of gives you a little bit of everything uh, here in Bartram Ranch uh, with this Mayport floor plan. And that's gonna wrap up our tour of the Mayport. All right, what do you think about the Mayport floor plan here with Toll Brothers and Bartram Ranch? Honestly, I love this backyard oasis. I love the fact that they have a little putting you know, range over there. And honestly, having this area to be able to entertain is a beautiful feature that you don't find with many, very many homes. But leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what it is you liked most about this home and maybe what you didn't like as much or what you'd love to have seen a little different. Also, if you're interested in this floor plan, this neighborhood, this builder, or St. John's County as a whole, in the description of this video is a link to my calendar. Definitely feel free to schedule time for us to meet face-to-face -face or through Zoom so we can go over what your family's wants and needs are as you make the move or the move up here in St. John's County. I'm always here to help. And as always, thanks for sticking till the end. The builder incentive that currently Toll Brothers is offering is for their inventory homes. They are doing a $40,000 use however you want. So whether it's price reduction or if you want to use it towards some of your closing costs as well on any of the inventory homes currently. Obviously subject to change. That's a great incentive if you're looking to get into this neighborhood and you don't have the time to wait for your home to be built and you need a one that's already built. All right now, until the next time, I'll see you guys again on the next model home tour.